What I love about the paint portion of the new Freddy the Frog app is besides being able to just paint with your finger, is that once you tap on a picture, the only way that you can paint that picture with your finger is you have to answer the correct note name, which is wonderful for making that note name stick in your head. So if you choose the wrong one, it says, oops, try again. When you choose the right one, it opens up. Use your finger to slide the brush size. And since Eli has a nice large belly, I can use a fat brush for that. And then if I want to get his, uh, paint his tongue, I'm going to use a little tiny one. And if this is hard with them, uh, to use with the fingers, they do have special styluses that you can use with iPads. So that's your choice. Now, every child wants to show off their painting, especially if they spend a lot of time on it. And wouldn't this be a great email note to the parents? So if you've already set up with the parents that you, um, or grandma or whoever, that you have their emails, then you could click the Save button. It puts the image into your camera roll. Then when you go into your camera roll, so now I'm in the picture images of the uh, photos on my iPad, and I've touched the image, and I'll see a little pop-up button at the top right, which I'm unable to show you at the moment. And that is, there's a share button. Now you can email it, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, you can message it, um, you can assign it to a contact. So you, if you have all of your parents of your students in your contacts, you can even assign it to the parent and have this running list of, of different things. But if you sent them an email, you could send this email, hey, this is what we're learning in music, this is something you can do at home. If you have an iPad, go to Freddy the Frog. Um, apps and download it. There's a free version and a paid version, so forth. Reinforce our learning. Or if you have internet access, then you can go to fraythefrog.com and download um, pages to color with physical crayons. So it's just a nice way to connect with the parents with what you're doing in your music classroom. So there you go. Have fun. Exit. Choose a new photo, new image, and keep playing.